Yep, you're there. Hi, good morning. This is Dim on the Cell, and it is Thursday. For those of you who don't know, I'm all about helping you cope with love, life, and other problems. Hi everybody, this is Dear Mama Sal, and as some of you know, I'm in the process of moving between one house and another. At the moment, I'm living in an empty house with a futon, <laughs> a television set, Wi-Fi, <laughs> um, and a beautiful kitchen, as you all know. So, and absolutely no lights on, and it's pouring with rain outside. I, I just love it to bits, I really do. So I thought I'd just give you a couple of quick updates. One of the things that I did last night was um, I decided I would go around, uh, I'm in a man what they call a manufactured home, and what I did was I went around and I sealed with press and seal uh, any holes that I could find um, you know, that we're letting cold air in, because I really did notice that there was quite a bit of cold air coming in that way. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I still have one to do, which is the guest bathroom. Talking about the guest bathroom, if you're lucky enough to have one, uh, I would ask you the question, how often do you use it, you're, you yourself? And the reason I say that was something that I learned a long time ago, which is, you know, be, <laughs> if, it, it, the expression is eat at your own restaurant. In other words, see what your guests are going to see. It's a really important thing. I try to do it at least every other day where I will go and use my guest bathroom. Why? Because I want to know, you know, what dust got in there that I didn't see. Um, you know, how's the toilet paper situation in there? You know, all those sort of things. So if you've got a guest bathroom, try and use it at least a couple of times a week so that you see what your guests will see. It's a really good tip. And I'm amazed actually how many times I go, boy, where did all that dust come from while I wasn't watching? So that's a good one. <laughs> you would have laughed at me last night. <laughs> I was out in the dead of night um, checking out what garbage bins were out, you know, because, you know, I'm new to this area. I knew that today was garbage day, but I wasn't sure whether it was recycling, whether it was garbage, garbage, um, organics and whatever. So what I did was I went out and studied the bins that were out around about 11 o'clock last night. And then I went and got my corresponding bins. So I did really well. I was pleased about that. It was a clever trick. Uh, and one of the tips that I have probably mentioned before, but I'm going to mention it again because it's something that I'm definitely doing more of now. Uh, if you really want to give your hips, if you're like me getting a little bit older, <laughs> or like me getting a lot older, um, but and you want to make sure that you exercise your hips, you know, throw, throw a, a damp face cloth, face cloth on the floor and clean a floor area, you know, with your legs, you know, one side and then the other. And it's amazing how much it, you know, you use your hip muscles to do that. And by the way, don't forget the forward and backward motion. Now, if you're a bit unstable for any reason, um, I find it's a really good idea to take a dust mop and hold that, and that'll help stabilize you a little bit. Uh, be careful because that's also a little bit slippery. The good news is I have started to drop weight. Uh, some of you know that I've really struggled with this. I have been, um, I took off a whole lot of weight and then suddenly with all the stress and everything else, it wasn't that I was eating that badly. I don't know really what caused it, but I suddenly packed on weight and now I'm obviously doing a lot more exercise, which we all hate to hear is a good idea if you want to lose weight, but I'm definitely doing that and I can feel that it's starting to shift and I've also, you know, proved it on, on um, the graph that I've got. I'm off today just so that you know what my goals are. Uh, one of the main goals I have is to get the rest of the coffee pods for my Keurig. You know, I got it all plugged in in the corner there. You probably can't see it, but anyway, it's all plugged in the corner, but I only had one. Luckily, I had one pod with me, but I need the rest of my pods because, you know, <laughs> emptying it and filling it up again every time I want a cup of coffee is not my idea of fun. Um, I like to do like a dozen at a time and then I've got them. And so that's what I'm going to do. And then also I need to bring my telephones in because the telephone guy is coming this evening to hook up my telephones. 
And what I've decided, you know, my present telephone system is three telephones. Uh, so that means I can have one in, in each third of the house. And I think that's a good idea at my age, quite honestly. All right, so that's it for now. I'm off to go and, oh, I know I, what I wanted to tell you. I really felt quite bilious when I got, yeah, I felt sick this morning. I'm still feeling a little bit that way. And it's about food, I think. Um, but I'm trying not to think about it too much other than talk about it. I'm trying not to think about it too much. What I've done is I've made myself some green tea, which I'm going to drink now before I go. And, you know, just try and fill my stomach up with something that it can work on. Uh, I found that when you feel like this, it's nine times out of ten probably just uh, gastric juices that are trying to work on an empty stomach, which is not a good idea. So let's give it something, even if it's liquid, to to work on. So that's what I'm going to do now. And I'll catch up with you either on the way there or on the way back or while I'm there. Now, one of the reasons I really like this covered deck is because I realize that even when it's pouring with rain outside, I can still walk if I need to. And so what I discovered was that the length of the deck is about 15 of my steps. And I can literally come out here and do an extra 100 steps every hour if I want to. And I am literally wearing a t-shirt and it is fine. And I'm seriously thinking <clears throat> I might bring my total gym and put it here so that I can do some exercise. But I also wanted to put my hammock here. Hmm. I wonder where I'm going to put my hammock. Maybe at the front. Uh, it's pretty impressive. I've got a turquoise hammock. Oh. Where did that Nyaga Nyaga come from? We know it wasn't there the other day. And I need to sweep those steps. They will go all the way up to there. I'll wait for a non-rainy day to do that. Really worried about that coming apart there in more than one place. Hmm. I think what I will do is I will if the boys the boys said they would fix it for me, but if they don't then I will probably think about strapping it in some way. You know, in other words, just to hold it as it is and stop it getting worse. One of those works in progress. The more I think about it, the more I think that that space there needs one of those outdoor fireplaces. You know, not the big ones, just a small one for ambiance. So if you see any that you like the look of, <clears throat> I think that looks so cute there, don't you? Now what I decided to do was in those gaping holes um, that I've got here, I've decided to put press and seal over them to try and limit the amount of cold air coming in. You see I put it there, but I also put a run of it at the back here because I want to know if Mickey and Minnie are coming back and that'll be pretty evident um, on that. So we'll see if that works. The reason it's crunched up a bit there is just because I have these two cubies here at the moment and that's all good. Well, on my way out I had a look at the garbage cans as well and what I noticed is everybody's got a yellow bag 
apparently the yellow bag is for paper and I don't have one but I have ordered one let's see if I get it so there's a possibility that they will not take my recycling today and that's okay I understand that if they've got a you know you're meant to put the paper in a yellow bag and you haven't typed law then obviously I'm going to be penalized feeling a bit yucky to be honest uh, but I have some green tea with lemon because I know that hydration is important and let's hope that I feel a bit better soon okay so here's the thing I managed to clear half of that again and the scary thing is that I've still got that drawer, still got quite a bit in it, and this drawer is still got quite a bit in it. <laughs> I've salvaged the bacon. I know I'm going to be throwing out a lot of this stuff, but I'm not throwing out bacon. By the way, I oh, let me show you that. In the fridge, I cleared all the drawers that were in, in the door, this door. And what I've done is I've put them in the dishwasher to clean, so tomorrow I can put them back. Well, another bag in here. Just about emptied all of that. I'm really quite happy with that. So tomorrow I should be able to break this down and then start on this lot. It actually probably isn't as bad as it looks, if I think about it. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> if I think about it too much, I get scared. All right, so this room is just about done. Uh, I haven't opened up that closet, but I may not until the last minute. Uh, all right, so that's done. Uh, this is scary. This is all pantry stuff, and I've still got so much to move, but never mind. One step at a time. I can do this. And then... I've still got all of this, but I know where this is going, so that's good. Now, you might wonder why I collect milk jugs for seedlings. You see, I cut them, and then they're easy to handle. All right, so today, pantry, freezer fridge, pantry, Guest bathroom, kitchen utensils, even more of them. And that's from my bedroom, bathroom. So I'm going to load up and get out of here before I get overwhelmed again. Resting heart rate 94. I've done 3,700 steps. I'm exhausted and I'm on my way home. But before I do, I can hear somebody screaming at me. hydration <sighs> you know it's really funny because I find I did you know another bag in the bedroom another bag in the studio I did the usual ones that I bring back with me and I can feel that I'm getting there, but I'm still terrified that I'm not going to do enough. And I would like to take the weekend off if I can, just so that I can rest a bit. And I have to keep remembering that I've got movers coming. That's what they do, they move. And it'll probably cost me more to have them pick up the bits and pieces and get them over there but you know sometimes that's worth the money if you know what I mean oh don't I look great never mind I wanted to ask you guys if you open up your houses in the morning to let fresh air in the, I've noticed that that I'm doing that more than I used to which is I really you know, get up in the morning and I get dressed and then I open up 
the patio doors and that fresh air in. But it's you know it's funny because you know there's part of you that goes that's counterproductive. It wasn't secured very well. Um, that's counterproductive because you're letting cold air in. But you know it's about getting fresh air in and that to me is beginning to be really important. Never mind. So the only other thing I've got on the schedule today is the telephone guy and I brought the telephones with me. Well, two of them. The third one, I think I packed it. <laughs> <laughs> when I was packing up the um, craft room, I think I packed it. Or else the telephone fairy stole it. I'm not quite sure which. See you at the other end after I've unpacked. Well, I just stopped at a gas station to pick up some milk, and I am so proud of myself. <laughs> I'm looking at Mars bars, Crunchy bars, you name it, I'm looking at it, and you know how hungry I am. When I say how hungry I am, and I knew that if I picked them up, I would eat them on the way home, and I've got another three quarters of an hour before I'm going to stop my fast, so, and... I don't think a Mars bar is the best thing in the world to break a fast with, but I could be wrong. There may be empirical evidence to show it is a wonderful way to break your fast. <laughs> I doubt it. Um, I do want to let you know in terms of uh, my eating pattern, I've managed to keep my blood sugar under control, as Jody will attest to, and also Lauren. But what I wanted to let you know is I am not depriving myself of things I really love. For example, I really love specular um, cookies. And every night after I finish dinner, it's sort of like, after dinner I allow myself half a cup of, je of uh, jello, jelly in England, um, and then I, you know, sometimes with some banana on top and little squidge of um, cream but then after that to satisfy that part of me that craves cookies I allow myself two specular and I tell you I thoroughly enjoy them and I've managed to keep my blood sugar under control doing that you know it's all about it's not that you can't have anything it's about the price you pay if you do and I'm you know, really getting the idea now that I can have things that I want, but I just can't have as much as I wanted. <laughs> or as often as I would like. And you know, for somebody who could, I don't know if any of you relate to this, but I, I, I was incapable of opening up a bag of candies and closing it again before I'd finished everything in it. Especially with licorice all sorts, you know, it's just like, really? What was I thinking? But, like everything else, everything in moderation. We can do this, people, if we want to. And perhaps that is the interesting thing. It was like I really didn't feel like going and moving stuff today. But, you know, if I don't, there's going to be even more stress. So, you know, I just said, you just have to take one step. You just need to get there, load up the boxes, you know, it doesn't take very long. You can get in and out within an hour. And you will know that you've done what you said you were going to do. That's your achievement. So, you know, get at it. And I did. And I'm glad I did. Of course, my back is not very glad. I'll be taking some more IB broken tonight. In fact, not tonight, when I get home. <laughs> well, here we go. Those are all... Got to find home somewhere in the kitchen. I've got one in the guest bathroom and one in my bedroom. And on the good side, <laughs> the
the recycling man must have taken pity on me because he emptied everything in my recycling bin, even though I didn't have the right things. <sighs> Good. So here is what I'm doing. For example, these are fruit juice ice cubes, and now I've made them with real fruit. So I'm going to put those in with my iced tea, use those up. I noticed there was a very nice looking steak, that's for dinner, and some frozen asparagus, that's going to be for dinner as well. But here's the problem. There is no more room at the inn. Maybe a little bit up here if I reorganize, but not a whole lot. So, you know how much I've got left. I've got to sort this out and then start throwing out every day. Uh, I found some scotch eggs that I froze, so I'm going to thaw those and have those later. Whew. One step at a time, I can do this, right? And some bread dough, so I'm going to let that thaw. I'll have that later. I'll cook that up. So that's going to be tasty. Well, it's now just after four, and at last I have cleared it. That's just stuff waiting for dinner. But I want to tell you something. This was not easy. I had to reorganize... Uh, stuff here because I know there's still stuff coming and a lot of it and so but this is called adjust right just keep adjusting until it's all in and I'm certain I can fit it all in I just have to be clever about how I do it so I haven't done anything anywhere else except uh, to get the kitchen tidy again so I'm going to take a break as it's uh, definitely time for me to take a break. I have some nice snacks that I think will be healthy for me. I'm going to sit down, which I normally don't do until night time, but I'm going to sit down right now. I'm tired. Well, everybody, another very busy day and my feet can feel it. So I'm going to say bye for now. Thank you.